Hey everyone, how's it going? Dabloon here and today's another spillway, or it's a BTD6 video, it's gonna be spillway on chimps. And um, I'm freshly dressed, I'm about to head out to work. I needed to get this done, so I woke up 6.30 this morning to play immediately as I woke up. And I failed, and then I failed again. So we're gonna knock this out really quick. I'm actually going to, there's a part on here where we're gonna have to get the Archmage, and it costs 30 grand, so we're just gonna wait it out. And in that time, I'm actually gonna go finish getting ready for work and get the dogs ready. And so I'll cut that a little bit. But other than that, like, you guys will know what's going on. This won't be a big deal. Um, like I said, I'm jumping right into this because I've I messed it up twice now. And both times, one was on 98, the other was on 100. The bad was right here. I had my strategy perfect, and then I, at the very end, I was just counted it wrong. Because they've nerfed the big bad. And as you guys know, I used to tell you, as soon as that tail pops open, use the first strike and you'll knock it out. Well, Ninja Kiwi thought it'd be a good idea to change that up, so now it doesn't do that, apparently. And so, you have to wait a little longer, and I didn't read all the patch notes on the last 12.0 update, and apparently you can't just do that. So you kind of have to count Mississippi, or alligators, whatever you guys want to call it, you know, one alligator, two alligator, because in uh, there was a physical way to look at it before. Now, as far as I know, there isn't. I haven't spent that much time with it. All I've done it on is on this level since it's happened. Apparently, I haven't played chimps with a water level and a first strike since that happened. So, we'll see what happens here. What we're going to do is we got a 201 ninja and we're going to get an Oban. And again, like I said, I'm really sorry that it's super speedy and super crazy, but um, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm going to be late to work for you guys because it's not it's not like for you guys all per se. Yes, I would love to get the video done, but I'm more of like an OCD freak. And the fact that I wasted my whole morning and didn't get anything good from it. That's why I don't gamble, guys. That's why I don't go to casinos is because I would be a terrible gambling addict because as soon as I go to do anything, I'm like, oh, and I like have to win, right? And my my phone's getting blown up and Modesto. What? Where the heck is Modesto? Why is anyone even calling me from there? I get so many crazy calls, guys. It's insane. But yes, yeah, so sorry for the crazy burst of energy. I just woke up, had some coffee. Um, I probably would have been a lot better in the previous video if you if you guys would have saw that one because I was like this like hello guys the balloons here and I just woke up and so that one was a little more mellow and easy to handle. My wife was yelling at me as she was leaving for work. She's like, "You just did you drink coffee because you're you're a mess right now because I get all crazy and I didn't mean to. I just wanted to wake up a little bit for this video. So I'm alert. I'm here. I'm ready. We're gonna knock this out. So we got our dude up to three zero one. And we're gonna get our, we got our Oban, he's already at level four. Now we're gonna get a mage and put him right here. We're gonna pretty much follow our half cast strategy with a few variations, cause we're gonna have more money. And it's going to level 100, which is why we'll have more money. So pretty much that's how it's gonna go guys. And it's gonna get real crazy, it's gonna get real difficult. But luckily, last night I was up till like 10.30 my time and I was playing on Twitch. And I had a few people from the Discord helping me out with this strategy. And so thank you to KJ and Monica. You guys are real good help with this. And because um, we were trying to do it with just the Apache and it wasn't working out. So Monica told me about how he beat it with the biggest one and an overclock. And that actually worked. So it worked for me too. So we're going to make it happen. Now I, I beat it. Uh, not beat it, but I did a hun level 100 a few dozen times in Sandbox. So there shouldn't be an issue. Like I'm telling you, shouldn't be an issue. But like I said, I've already had two issues and it's it's a lot different. I, I would love, I would encourage everyone to at least just make one video because who knows, you might love it. You might love making, um, it doesn't have to be this game, it can be any game, but just make one video. I even got my best friend in real life. I got him to like um, do a stream. Uh, he plays Apex in Fortnite, of course, and I'm not into all the shooters, but he is. So he started doing those. He did a stream and he loved it. He's like people, he's really good at that game. So um, that game rewards you for being good. And so you got he got into the hype zone or whatever. And so he had a couple viewers, and that was pretty cool, like his first time. So he loved it. But I would encourage everyone to do it at least once, just because it's a whole different ball game. Like you're sitting at your computer or your mobile phone, and you're playing it, and you're thinking, oh, okay, I can do this, I can do this. But as soon as you got people, you got eyes on you, or knowing that people are going to be watching you, your whole game changes. Like the way you play it, the way you do it, and especially talking. Like I practice, like I'll be talking to my wife while, she, while I'm playing on my phone to get better at it. But then I'm not that good at it. So I realized like, well, if I can't do it here, how do I do it on video? So the point of that is that it just gets crazy. And so my strategies aren't as good as they should be. And I mess things up and I don't do harder strategies because of that. So uh, we're working on it though. And playing in the Discord last night, I learned that 
Well, not only did I learn a few new things about the game, I learned that I'm nowhere near as good as I thought I was, and that there's people that are like god tier at this game that I am no, not even close. Like I thought I was like at a decent solid level, but apparently there's people like I'm here and then they're here at this game. You can't even see my hand, that's how good they are. And I wasn't aware of all that. So, but it, apparently there's a whole community of people that just like murder this game and they know every single aspect of it. Which is really cool and I applaud you for that. Um, I don't know if we'll ever get to that status, but I would love to work on it. I didn't know that was a goal. So now I'm gonna add that to my goal. After a thousand subscribers, it's to be the best, like Ash Ketchum, you know, just get the be the best out there and let's see what happens with it. Um, a lot of my problem is I'm lazy and I like strategies that like this one where I can just throw it down and be done with it. So not only can I talk to you guys without getting too nervous about the game being lost, cause you guys have seen in the harder ones where I can't really talk that much. Like in half cash for this one, that was the hardest one I've done. But um, in half cash for this level particularly, I was my commentary was crazy. I was crazy just because I had to beat it and I couldn't really talk. So that's why I like to just do throw down strategies and just knock it out of the park and make it make it done, right? And so when it involves like 30 different towers and turning it from strong to first and all that kind of stuff, it just makes it a little you know, harder to work with. I don't really know where I was going with that other than I think what I was doing was making excuses for not doing better. But, <laughs> true story, we'll get there. We'll get there, guys. It'll work out. But if you guys haven't already, I'm going to pitch it one last time. I know some of you guys are probably watching. Like, dude, stop talking about your Discord and Twitch. I don't care. I'm just here to see your videos so I can beat the level myself. And I totally get that and I respect that. I'd probably do the same thing. But... If you do have the time and you want to join an awesome community, join the Discord, links below, and join me on Twitch to help me with these strategies. So like last night, for instance, um, I hadn't beaten Impopable on Spillway, and I just wanted to jump straight to Chimps for YouTube. I didn't want to waste my time with Impopable, because my Impopables and alternate blue rounds don't really get that much hype on them. So kind of just wanted to skip the Chimps. So I went on Twitch, I beat Impopable with a few people. I think it was up to eight people on Twitch, which was super cool having that many people watch me on live. Super intimidating, and my my logic and my voice changes completely because I'm not used to having people watch me live. It's completely different than even making, like I had to get used to making YouTube videos, now I have to get used to making live videos. It's so crazy how it all works. But um, I was on there, people helped me through it, and then we worked on chimps for a few hours. And it's, it's just a whole different experience than sitting there by myself with the headphones and you know cleaning up house with the game. It's, it's more fun and more interactive having people there helping you and working you through the strategy, especially when they're really good players and their strategies are like, you know, I have my way, they have their way. It's really cool. So join it if you guys want to. And even if you're not like super interested in becoming like a part of a community, like what's really cool is let's say you're just having trouble on this, on this level and no one's really posting anything about it. You don't really, you can't follow. There's maybe one or two videos out there and you can't really follow them that well. Well, what's really cool is you just go in there and you type in like, Hey, how do I, can anyone help? I'm new here. Can you help me with this? And they will. And it's super cool about that. So um, use it for that, if anything. Let's see if we can get this a little better. How about right there? That works for me. What I'm trying to do is get it on both sides. So you can see now he can see both into the middle of the map and he can see over there. So I'm hoping that'll help us out a little bit. And um, let's see here if we get recursive cluster. So just to recap, if I was talking too fast like a crazy person, we have a 402 ninja, we have a 402 alchemist, a 402 mage and a 203 and now a 204 um, bomb bomb and then we have this guy we're not going to upgrade him just yet what we're going to do is we're going to shoot straight for that arc mage and this is honestly when i should get up and go get ready for work but i kind of want to keep talking to you guys oh not just that i need to use my trees huh shoot i was just going to get up and cut to having thirty-five thousand, but i need to use my trees my treesy beezies so because the trees get you more money, of course, right? But I kind of need to get ready and I'm kind of hungry. I want to go make a bagel or something. Do I have time with it on fast? Um, okay, I am going to cut this a little bit, guys. I'm sorry, but um, I need to go get ready for work. So I'll just cut it. You won't even know I left. It'll be like I'm a, like I'm a teleporter. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I didn't do anything except for I did walk by and click the tree every now and then. So there was no rhyme or reason to it. It really doesn't matter. The only reason I did it was to get more money. So don't fret like that's, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose now because I didn't know when to click the tree. None of that, none of that's necessary. 
So we're almost at 34,000 to get that arc mage. I'm sorry for just like cutting it through like that, but like I said, I got, I just got a few dozen things done in that, what, five minutes? Not even, so thank you for letting me slide on that. And um, what's up? What am I thinking? So we got that, we got our arc mage. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get camos for our recursive. That's gonna help on like level 78 and stuff. Not that it's necessary because we have the arc mage now, but it's also going to help us because we're gonna get the, um, what do you call the MIB. And I was told, I was told from the awesome people on Discord that like the arc mage and even the Apache are beneficial from the MIB because now like the Archmage's fire can hit everything and before it couldn't. So I didn't, I didn't know that. So what we're going to do here too, is we're going to put him in the range of this guy without the alchemist. I don't want an alchemist boosting another alchemist. So we'll just put him out, out of the range a little bit and we'll go boom, bang, bang. Same thing, 402. Um, none of this really matters at this point. Like it matters for the end game play, but it doesn't really matter the level or the order you do it for going to be the same outcome and basically what we're doing is we're just buffing as much as we can so we're going to get the mib we're going to upgrade this guy we're just going to make sure that like our mage always has a potion on him and as you can see he doesn't so even with our efforts it's not going to be perfect and, and that's why i get a lot of people commenting or i've not a lot but i've had people comment like why don't you just use the alchemist why do you use mib blah 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 and that's exactly why, because look at he's never like right now, there's two alchemists and he's not fully buffed. He should be buffed to 99% of the time and he's not. I mean, it's just a little tiny gap, but that gap is still enough that he's not gonna, like, let's say the big bad comes out and he doesn't have a potion on him for a good three seconds. Like that's three seconds of pops that he could have been blowing it up, you know? So that's what I feel about it. But on a side note, guys, so I think it was Wednesday, Wednesday after I post that video or before, I'm not sure. I hit 500 subscribers, guys. Like, that is so insane to me. I never thought it would get that crazy. My analytics said I made uh, 280 in one month. Let's check it right now, live. So before I did it this morning, I had 546. I woke up, okay, I have 547 now. That is so cool, guys. And like, every time I sign on, there's more comments, there's more love, there's more questions, there's more requests. It's getting to the point where it's just insane. And you guys are just super cool. And I'm working on it, guys. So don't worry if I don't get back to your comment. I will in the next couple days, I promise. And if I don't, it's because I've noticed too. Like I'll go on it a week later, and it'll say that um, it wasn't responded to, and it won't tell you. So like, let's say you comment me, and then I comment you back, and then you comment me back. It won't notify me of that last comment that you sent me. I don't know why. I have to go and search. So every couple days, I go through and I click comments I haven't responded to, and then I click unclick that, and just go through all my comments to make sure I've responded to every single comment. And I will continue to do that until it's overwhelming and I can't do it anymore. So just keep hanging there, guys, if I didn't reply to you. And let's see. I think what I'm going to do now is get our dude. We're going to put him in range of the Alchemist and the Tower, of course. We're going to put him right here. And we're going to go for the biggest one. So this is what uh, Monica helped me with in the Discord. And that's why it's cool for you guys to join it if you guys are interested in getting any better strategies or changing it up a little bit and not necessarily just relying on YouTube videos to get it done. It's just like, cause help talking with people. Cause the thing is, is that, and what I learned too, is that there's a lot of people that do not make YouTube videos for their own reasons. Maybe they don't want to be on camera. Maybe they don't care. Maybe they don't want to show it that way. But there's a lot of people that are really good at this game that don't make videos. And so you can't strictly rely on YouTube to get your knowledge of this game. So it's cool to join little communities, um, discords, and you know watch other streamers play things like that. And so that's just kind of you know basics of anything. You can't get everything from one source. It doesn't work that way. But I appreciate all you guys watching my videos, and I love the support, and I love how you guys are just so awesome about everything. And everyone thinks I'm so great, but I found out sadly that I am not the greatest. Um, one day, maybe. Who knows? Don't want to shoot that high. Don't want to fall that far. So, but we'll we'll get there. And I'm gonna keep working on these strategies. And I've noticed that as I go on more camera and more camera, I'm able to do more things multitasking wise. I mean, I do. I I have played the piano for a couple years, and I'm have a couple songs under my belt, and so that requires some multitasking. So I'm not completely new to the whole idea of it. Just when it, when it comes to talking 
and making a strategy and trying crazy things like it just it's a whole new level for me so i'm getting there and eventually i'll have crazy strategies that you guys can follow and it'll be super fun and because like leave let me know below if you guys were even able to i know i got some views on the spillway half cash let me know if any of you were able to actually even follow that because i had a hard time following my own strategy so if you guys were able to follow that that's awesome but that is a number one reason why i don't like to do things like that not because it took me an entire week and my wife got really mad at me for spending all of my wake, waking minutes on balloons, but mainly for the fact that it's just, at that point, it's just a personal achievement. And I am not really the biggest in that. Like, I like the game for fun and I want to help other people have fun with it. So my strategies are more for throw this down, get this over with and beat this level and have a good time with it. And so that per that particular one was like a personal vendetta against the game and I had to beat it, but I'm not normally into that. And um, yeah, so let me know what you guys like though. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the biggest one. And the biggest one is literally gonna save our necks in this because the Archmage is cool, but he just doesn't have enough time. And what happens on this map is that when they come down like this, these guys are gonna collide really. And then, so now the Archmage just to double duty his damage and that's just crazy. Not collide, but they're gonna get close enough to where it's like, after they all start coming together, it's gonna get intense. And so we need our Archmage to have some backup and what better than a mortar that's literally gonna hit the entire area. And so um, if you saw my Apocalypse video, I do have, I just learned of the striker Jones strategy and that thing is intensely awesome. And I really feel like, um, I'm sure that someone has, let me know if you guys have, or if you know anybody that has, I'm pretty sure striker Jones would be a solid strategy for this map because you get striker Jones going with the mortar and, um, some, and especially like the recursive and stuff. I don't see why you'd have any issues because striker is an amazing tower and you can just use that thingy that slows everything down and doubles it all and whatever. And just you're in, yeah, you're in a whole new level. Okay. So now what we're gonna do, now that you see everything's being destroyed, like he'll take up it, like even a fortified ZOMG, the mortar can just pretty much handle. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to get this guy. I'm just gonna put him over here. I like the area, why not? And we're gonna go for overclock. So that's gonna cost us 14 grand. It's gonna be a lot of money. And then um, as you can see, we didn't do any work for this, right? We just threw him down and that's what I like. But on 98, 99 and 100, we are going to have to work for our win. And it's just a sad story. We are moving up to harder maps, so it's gonna happen. You're gonna have to put a little bit of effort into it. And hopefully I can put the same effort and actually not die. Cause I was literally like, okay, so the, the big bad came flying around, did his little thing. We got him, we got his tail popped here and I'm supposed to hit first strike around here. And I let it go all the way. Next thing I know I've hit first strike and by the, while, while it's sailing through the air, he pops into DDTs and stuff. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So um, it was a big bummer and it didn't work out as I planned, <sighs> but you can't have everything, right? So we're gonna try it one last time. And if I lose this time, I'll be really mad because like I'm late to work for this. So this has to be the winner. Like I'm, I'm betting it all on black. I'm going all in. I'm, you know, crazy in it up right now. But at this point too, we like, I can't use the overclock. Obviously it's not even regened, but like this looks scary to me, but it has to work on its own. We can't, we can't altervene in any way. I don't think that's a word, altervene. The thing is intervene and alter it but you know making our own stuff apparently okay now we got that cool now we need the sub to get first strike so we'll do that too and basically we just have to make this work because we can't use overclock or anything because we need it for 98 we could use it right now if you wanted to but i don't think we'll need to i think this level is pretty simple on its own uh we'll throw down the tree if it gets a little scary we have our brimbles Ooh, 100 100 blooms Woo so uh, but as you can see it's going pretty good and Oban has his totem somewhere in this game, so he should be able to help us. But we should be just fine. The Archmage is really strong on his own, guys. And now that he's paired with the biggest one, I think we should be chilling. Who knows, if I lose on 96, that's just power to the course because that's what happens to me. Um, I have it down completely, everything's perfect, and then something that I wasn't even expecting comes and beats me. That happens. This is the game, that's the game of life, right? I'm like, okay, I got this, this is easy, and then boom, dead. But now all we have to do are these two ZOMGs that are fortified, the Band-Aids. And I think we should be okay. Okay, now 98 is where it's going to get tough. You have to overclock at the right time. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but what happens is you just need to overclock with enough time for it to regen for 99. And so that's where it gets a little scary. So you want it as early as possible, but if you do it too early, your, um, 
the I think some balloons will slip through and you'll die. So kind of what we're working with here and it's going to get a little hectic, but I think we'll be okay. So look at that, that almost slipped through if it wasn't for the Archmage. So I'm going to put my tree down, put the Brimble Patch down. <sighs> so what we're going to do as soon as we see all the ZOMGs, like right about now, I think would be a solid time, right? Right about now. So now as you can see, like, look, he's going super crazy. We might have done it too early. Now watch his gear. His gear needs to stay up there as long as it can. And I don't know if we gave it enough time. Um, and now it just left. But I think we should be fine. We popped all the ZOMGs. Oh my gosh, this is super scary, guys. My heart is pounding right now and my voice is trembling. Like, this is too much. Okay, we need to get this up too. So now we're at 98. What's going to happen is we need to pop this as soon as, like, the DDTs come, right? Now. So now he's going to pop the DDTs. Hopefully. So we overclocked the biggest one again. And you wait right till you see the DDTs. Now the problem is, is as you can see, we have to overclock to beat this bad. And it's not regen yet. And by the time he gets to the center, he won't regen. And it's all about timing on this one. And it's super scary because I don't know the timing yet. I don't. And so usually I just looked at physical indicators of, you know, his tail popping after the band-aids. And now we don't have that. So we have to wait for the gear to come back. We have to overclock it, overclock the Archmage this time. And what we're gonna do here, so as soon as it pops, okay. So now we're gonna overclock the Archmage, which is the second one. I know it looks a little crazy. It looks like you're on Oban, but that's what we're gonna do. And you're just gonna let it do its thing, guys. This is where it gets really, really, really scary. And I'm really nervous and I don't want it to lose, but we're gonna have to see what we can do. So we're gonna wait for that tail. Okay, the tail has now popped. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait a little bit here until he gets a little under here. Now go, and we beat it. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was the scary. So as you can see, I didn't count in my head. I just kind of waited. Normally, we, as soon as we see that tail, we jump it, right? But this time what I did was I just kind of, instead of waiting, or well, we did the tail, then waited a few seconds. So just kind of feel it out. So if you need to count my time here, so if it's like, just to get a more accurate reading, just go like, okay, one, two, three, okay, that's when you hit it. But I will figure out a better way of, of adjusting that sooner or later. Oh, but that was intense, guys. That was super scary. I doubt we'll even get past level 101 with this. That's crazy. But um, got it done. That was a good Friday morning. That was really scary. But thank you to Monica. Thank you to Chewy, who was helping. And thank you to KJ. You guys are awesome. Um, I hope everyone can get the same experience I get from the Discord because it does make you a better player to have other players help. What the heck? 101. But it does make you a better player to have everyone there with you and joining in. So really cool. Thank you guys to everyone who watches on Twitch, everyone who follows on Discord. And just you guys are awesome. You guys know who you are. And keep it up, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys want to see below. And if you guys are interested, 7.30, 8.30 um, Pacific time. I'm not sure if it's Saturday or Sunday. I can't really. Yeah, I don't really know how to tell you when other than if you join the Discord and you'll see it. But I'm going to be on Twitch. And I'm going to be working on 100 deflation. It's going to be a beast. It's going to be a monster. And hopefully we can get it done. I'm going to have help of others in there. So if you guys want to join, please do. And you, Or you can just watch the finished product on YouTube. But that will be the goal for this weekend. And hopefully it doesn't take my entire weekend. So thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.